Hi everybody! Welcome to my channel. This is my very first YouTube channel and the very first video that I will be publishing. My name is Brianne and today we are going to be talking about something pretty serious and scary. And um, we're talking about it today because throughout the journey that I've gone through so far, I have found it extremely helpful to watch other people's journeys. And I thought, you know what, I'm going through the same thing. And if it wasn't for some of the people that I have followed or watched on YouTube um, regarding this topic, I don't know if I would have came to the decision that I did. So I'll quit being vague. Um, what we're going to be talking about today is dentures and periodontitis disease. Um, for the past four years or so, I have been dealing with uh, periodontitis disease. It started out pretty mild um, and progressed to the point where I am going to be getting dentures. Um, I know it sounds really um, drastic. For some of my age, I'm 28, I'm only 28. Um, it's definitely drastic, um, but I came to that decision because it is going to happen eventually and I feel like it's the best option um, for me and for what I'm looking for, for what I want, um, for my health, for you know what I'm looking to get um, in the long run. So just to give you like a quick backstory so growing up I had pretty you know decent teeth I didn't have like any major issue issues I had a root canal um, maybe one cavity um, nothing major I never really had the whitest of teeth as you can see I don't I still don't I smoked for 10 years um, I don't anymore but that didn't really help um, so yeah so I had a lot um, of years of good teeth you know when I was younger I didn't, you know, take the best care of my teeth. Um, nothing against my parents, but they weren't like really adamant about, you know, brush your teeth two, three times a day. That wasn't something that was really like pushed a lot. Um, not that it's their fault. You know, I, I brushed my teeth as a kid. Um, but yeah, it wasn't really pushed a lot. And then growing up, you know, I, I brushed my teeth. I probably didn't floss as much as I should. Um, but I did take care of my teeth, you know, as well as I thought, you know, I should. So I had really good, uh, not really good, I had decent teeth all the way up until about four years ago. Um, and I will post a picture in this video um, of what my teeth looked like just four years ago. Yeah, I was looking at pictures of like my bachelorette party and um, or my bridal shower and my teeth like this gap was not there. This gap wasn't even there two years ago. So backstory, so I had decent teeth growing up and then about four years ago, I got, um, I developed um, periodontitis, gum disease. That's what periodontitis is. If you don't know, it is a progressive form of gum disease. So it starts out as like gingivitis and then gum disease and then periodontitis, okay? And there's different levels of periodontitis. So I started out with gum disease or gingivitis gum disease whatever and then um I didn't have insurance for a couple of years and I went back to the dentist and it was like a mild form it wasn't anything too serious but it was a mild form and they did what's called an SRP so it's the uh, scale and root planing and that's where they it's like a cleaning but it's more deep so the drill has like this really really tiny thing underneath it that it gets underneath your gum line so like right below your gum line and it gets you know all the gingivitis and all the plaque and whatever out from under there and they try and get rid of the disease well i had done that a couple times and it seemed to work but it was only working for a short period of time so i'd get it done and then you know just a few months later i would have to get it done again and then i got pregnant and this is um uh 2015 early 2015 i got pregnant and i finally got insurance again so i started going back to the dentist by then it was pretty it wasn't it really really advanced even then it was it was getting there but they still thought that we had a chance of saving my teeth right we're like okay we're just gonna do some more srps i um didn't want to do too much i had a high risk pregnancy so my doctors didn't want me doing too much dental work um 
but we did what we could, um, you know, in different phases. So that was, I was in and out of the dentist probably once or twice a month throughout like that whole pregnancy. Um, I lost one of my teeth because I had such a bad infection uh, right here, this tooth. I lost that one, so I have a flipper for that one. Um, and that was it. So once my pregnancy was over, I started going back to the dentist and I wanted to get a game plan going. You know, I wanted to get something done. I wanted this to be over. I wanted my teeth back. I, you know, they told me that once we got rid of the disease that I could get, you know, either braces or something to help straighten out my teeth because there had been a lot of shifting in that pregnancy. Like that pregnancy, oh man, it was terrible for my mouth. Like germs love my mouth. Like it just, that's how it is. And that's how periodontitis works. It's, um, you know, the the germs and the bacteria they just love your mouth and they just want to hibernate there and it's really hard to get rid of it um there's really no explanation for it they tell me that i have acute acute juvenile periodontitis which is a genetic form um i don't know anybody in my family that has it this bad um you know people in my family don't have perfect teeth but they've never no one in my family that i know of has had it this bad so they said I have acute juvenile periodontitis and that it's fast progressing. So what that means is it's just like I, they can't get it under control. So um, after that um, pregnancy, after I had my son, we um, started doing more SRPs and then I got pregnant again. And um, then I stopped going. Uh, it was a really rough pregnancy. It was way worse than my first pregnancy. I had a lot of medical issues with that. So I didn't go in as much. I went a couple times, but um, they didn't want to, there wasn't really much that they could do except for, you know, continuing to put me through pain and doing the SRPs. Um, so we put that off and then I had my second child um, uh, April of last year. So after I had her, I was like, okay, we're gonna figure something out. We're gonna go to the dentist. I am going to get this fixed. I am focusing on me, my health, and we're gonna get something figured out so I can have my teeth back. Um, so I went to a couple appointments. We did another round of SRPs. Man, I've done those probably like seven times. It's no joke and it's not fun. It's painful, um, especially for me. Like I have this most sensitive gum line um, like they even touch it with a probe and like my, my gums start to bleed. It's that bad. So, uh, I started going back to the dentist and, uh, the first dentist that I saw said that basically, um, and, and they'd actually kind of said this, you know, during my first pregnancy that, you know, if they can't get it under control, this is kind of going to be my life. It's just going in, getting deep cleanings every three months and hoping that, um, it goes away to the point where I can save my teeth. Their goal was to try and get me to save my teeth for at least 10 to 20 years, right? You know, try and save them as long as possible. And then slowly that started to, get, to decrease. And then they said, well, um, it's looking like, you know, you could probably save them for maybe five or 10. I'm like, okay. So, um, this was about two months ago. Um, I was, I saw the specialist at the, my dentist's office at Willamette Dental and, um, he's an amazing dentist. I really liked him. And, you know, he kind of said the same thing. He said, you know, there's some teeth that we could go in and we could do the flap surgery. Uh, it's a perio surgery where they, um, they pull your gums down and they, um, do bone grafts or they kind of even out the bone and try and get your gums healed up, get all that yucky stuff out try and get rid of the infection. It's a lot of antibiotics, things like that. So that was what his recommendation was. So I went home and, you know, obviously for the last month or two, you know, I've been like, okay, well, what do I do? So I started doing lots of research and that is what led me to do this because the research in the videos that I watched was super helpful. So I started doing a lot of research and I came across um, some YouTubers and some people that had gone through something similar. Um, not necessarily the person that initially um, helped me come to this decision. Um, she didn't have the same thing that I have. Her issue was completely different, but um, her outcome was the same as what mine is going to be or what I hope it's going to be. Um, and that was that I needed to get dentures. So what options I was left with was one, I can keep my teeth and I can go in every three months for deep cleaning and try and just keep my teeth as long as possible. Um, and hope that, you know, they get better. Um, 
but what that's going to also include is pain. Um, I'm not going to be able to, you know, get my teeth back to where they were. Um, as long as the disease is in my mouth, I can't get braces and do anything like that. My teeth are going to continue to shift. I'm going to continue to lose, lose teeth. You know, I already have quite a bit or that are loose. So there's that. Um, and early or late last year, um, around November, 2017, I started getting infections. I lost two teeth, um, due to an infection. So that was kind of what was going to happen. I was going to continue to get infections and keep losing teeth until they were just all gone. So what sucks is when you, you know, decide to get dentures, you have to have bone to support the dentures. And what periodontite, periodontist, periodontitis disease does is it breaks down the bone below your gums. Once that's gone, it's gone. You can't get it back. Right? So I'm sitting there thinking, I'm like, okay, well, I can try and save my teeth, but what's going to happen is I'm just going to keep losing bone and bone and bone, and then I may not even be able to get dentures or implants, which implants are my ultimate goal. Um, so I'm like, well, what do I do? So I watched video after video after video, and then I finally was like, you know what? I think dentures is what I need to do. Implants. You know, it starts out as dentures, and then um, if everything goes as planned, it leads into implants. So I went back to my dentist and I said, you know, I've came to the decision that that's what I want to do. And he said, well, we're not quite there yet. He said, let's do some more scans. And I said, you know, I wanted to get a second opinion, talk to a couple other dentists just to make sure. Um, so we kind of, you know, looked at, he did a, you know, a, a check of my mouth um, just to make sure to see like what had happened since the last SRP to see if it had made a difference. And um, some teeth were better, some were worse, some were the same. So, you know, there wasn't really like a huge change that would get him to say, okay, well, we're gonna have you keep them all. You know, that's what I think you should do. So, um, so after that I said, okay, well, let me go and, you know, go to this other dentist and see what he says. And this person, um, Dr. Levine or Levine, I think, and Eugene, he specializes in dentures and the process of making dentures. So I went and saw him and he said the same thing. Um, now at this point, I basically have a decision. What, what decision I'm left with is what process do I want to, like, what do I want to do? What are the stages? Do I want to do it all at once? Um, do I want to do it in phases? Um, because I still have six teeth that both of the dentists at this point said were good and that I should keep because that would help, you know, with the structure and holding up of the dentures. So I'm like, okay, well, at least, I'll, you know, I'm left with six teeth. That's good. So he referred me to a surgeon. So I went and saw this person. I do not remember his name. Um, and they were both great. So I went and saw him and he said the same thing and he recommended doing all of it at once. And I kind of agree, you know, why do I want to do it in different phases? Why do I want to go in, you know, get some teeth pulled, come out, and go back and go back and go back like I don't want to do that that's just more pain that I don't want to do I have kids I have a life I have a job I don't want to do all that pain I just want to do it all in one swoop and be done with it so after I saw him I was then referred back to my general dentist so not the specialist at Willamette Dental the guy that I originally um, like really like and who I saw but my general dentist so he would be the person that would kind of do all this he would be the person that would be pulling all the teeth and fitting me for the denture and the partial so I went back and I saw him and I've up until this point I've really liked him um, so I went to see him and he agreed, you know, he, he agreed with it, but what he wanted to do was totally different from what these other dentists, three other dentists have said to do. And what he wanted to do is he wanted to pull eight molars, um, and a few other teeth and let me go home and heal for a few weeks, come back, do the rest. Um, the reason he said to do that was so that the denture and the, um, partial, because I'm getting a partial on the bottom. So I'm doing a full upper and then a partial lower. Um, so he said that the reason you do that is because you have a better chance of getting fitted for a proper um, denture. But I didn't want to do that. So I told him that. I said, you know, I've talked to three other dentists. They said I could do it all at once. That's what I want to do. And I was really rubbed the wrong way by him because he kind of was making me feel like me wanting to do it all at once wasn't a good idea. Um, which is ridiculous because I had just talked to three other dentists, two specialists that said it's okay to do it all at once. Like sometimes it's better. There's two different ways that you can do it. You can get all of your teeth pulled and um, wait until everything heals and then go in and get your um, your mouth fitted for a denture. Um, 
and then you're fit with a permanent, okay? Or you can get all your teeth pulled at once and then immediately, be, you know, you, you go and get the mold before your teeth are pulled. Excuse me. And then you go in, you get your teeth pulled, and they put in an immediate, right? The only downside to that is you may have to come in a few times to get it relined because as your teeth heal, um, it, they, they start to kind of like go further in, you know, they... The, they change in shape, so the denture that you're fitted with may not fit once you're completely healed. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with having to go in a couple times. Anyways, long story short, so he kind of rubbed me the wrong way. I didn't really like the way, you know, he kind of pushed that on me. Ultimately, I was like, you know, I just wanted to hear reassurance from him. I just wanted to hear him say, yeah, it's okay if you do it that way. That's not normally what I do, but it's okay if you do it that way. So... As soon as he left the room, the um, the assistant was like, what you're doing is totally fine. Like, she used to work for um, surgeons and specialists, and that's how they did it all the time. And I was like, well, that's all I wanted to hear from him. Like, by this point, I am bawling. I am in tears. I am not happy. Like, this is a huge, huge decision. It's something that I did not come to lightly. Something that I've cried over, you know, for months. I've had a really hard time coming to this decision and for him to just like sit there and not give me the reassurance that I needed it was really frustrating so she gave me the reassurance reassurance that I needed which was good and we did the the molding or whatever which is this nasty nasty stuff that they put in your mouth with a tin to um get a mold of your teeth so they can go and get fitted for the dentures so that's where we're at so I did that and I have to wait three to four weeks my appointment is May 17th um I get, I think it's 22 teeth pulled on that day and I will be fitted with immediate upper and then a partial lower. So I've already had a partial lower with just one tooth. So I'm hoping it's not too much of an adjustment for that because it took me a while to get used to that, but I'm fine. Um, I think it's just going to be a really big adjustment for the upper. So that is where we're at. Um, my appointment's May 17th. And then after that, um, my ultimate goal is to get implants down the road. Um, it does take some time. Usually you have to heal for like six months up to a year. But if you wait too much longer than that, it can be a little difficult, um, you know, depending on the bone and what's, what bone you have left. So that is where we're at. Um, so, I mean, I was really nervous to, to do this. I debated on whether or not I wanted to document this. Um, or if I should keep it to myself, but I decided on the latter because, you know, the people that I watched, you know, the ones that did document, some only documented like one part of it, you know, just a quick video. Some did like every phase. I don't necessarily know what I'm going to do. You know, it's going to depend on how I feel after my appointments. Um, but if it wasn't for some of these people, I wouldn't have got the courage to, to make this decision. Um, you know, it was really, really scary, um, deciding to do this, you know, my husband is extremely, extremely supportive, and, you know, from the beginning, when, like, the, th the mention of getting dentures or possibly losing all my teeth came up, you know, he's like, just do it, you know, this was, you know, like a year ago, before I even thought I would have to do it this young, um, you know, but still, I've got those insecurities of, you know, uh, you know, is he still gonna love me? Of course he will, but, you know, me like waking up every morning I just that was my thought like waking up every morning with no teeth like I'm like I'm not ready for that <laughs> not ready for that but it's what's best for my health and you know I'm gonna have a smile again I am extremely excited I have I'm so self-conscious like as you can see like I have learned how to talk without showing my teeth um and I'm not gonna have to do that anymore I'm gonna be able to smile and talk and I won't be in pain every time I take a drink of something cold or hot or eat certain foods. I'm not gonna, you know, cringe when I'm trying to eat, you know, ice cream or, you know, popsicle. Those are things that I can't eat anymore, but just because like it, it hurts so bad. Like my nerves are exposed all over my mouth. So it's just ex ex excruciating. Um, so that's why I decided to do this. So um, my plan is to make my YouTube channel um, a little bit about this, a little bit about makeup. Um, I do do makeup on the side. It's a fun little hobby. So you may see some of that. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna try my best to document the whole thing. Um, my extraction, my E-Day is what they call it, is May 17th at 
9.30 or 10.30, one of the two. So I think I'll probably do, I actually go in a couple days before that, um, so I might do a video um, of that appointment, and that is when I actually get to see the teeth um, before my appointment, when they pull my teeth, and then I'll get my medication and go over everything. Um, so I'm gonna try my best to document everything. If you have any questions, or you're someone that is going through something similar and you don't know what to do, you need advice, or you just need a cheerleader, someone to you know tell you that whatever you decide to do is gonna be okay, um, feel free to message me. Um, I will put all of my social media links in the comments or the description below. And um, and yeah, I I hope that you know someone out there benefits and. Uh, benefits from this video and is able to um, you know come to the same decision that I did you know come to the decision that was that was best for me but that I didn't want to come to myself I hope that this video can help someone else out there in the world so thanks so much guys and I will um, talk to you all on my next uh, video thanks